Hi, today we're going to take a look at how to thread a laminator with laminating film. But before we begin the actual threading process, it'll be helpful to note some of the key components of a laminator that will be used during the threading process. For starters, we have an upper supply mandrel. This is a bar that goes all the way from left to right hand side of the machine. You'll see a red label here on the right hand side and you'll notice that it matches a corresponding red disc here on the right hand side, red to red. Here on the bottom of the machine we have a similar lower supply mandrel except that this one has a blue label to match the blue labeled disc on the right hand side. Each of the supply mandrels comes with one rounded end on the left hand side and a half rounded end on the right hand side. This half rounded end matches a half rounded hole or slot in the colored discs on the right hand side. This is done to ensure that we get these supply mandrels loaded on the machine in the correct manner. The two black bars that go across the machine in the center here are the heat shoes. Upper heat shoe, lower heat shoe. And right behind the heat shoes, out of view of the camera, are two nip rollers here in the front. They will be the first rollers that grab our film and the graphic as it begins to laminate. Two more rollers are found behind the laminator machine. These are our pull rollers and they will help pull our laminating film and the graphic all the way through the laminator. This bar that runs right to left on the top part of the machine that turns is called an idler bar. This is the upper idler bar and our laminating film will come off the roll and be thread behind or underneath this bar. A similar bar is found on the bottom of the machine. This is the lower idler bar and our laminating film will come off our supply mandrel and be threaded behind this particular bar. And this is done to ensure that the film hugs the heat shoes as much as possible. Okay, let's begin to load some film. When you take your film out of the box, you're going to notice that there is a shiny side to the laminating film and a dull side to the laminating film. The dull side is the adhesive side and the dull side never ever touches the laminator. The dull side always faces us. Shiny side to the laminator. So we want the film then to come off the lower part of the roll, okay, like this. So we'll take our supply mandrel now, insert it into the core of the roll of film and twist so that it goes all the way through. Load that on and you'll notice that we've got the red to red. Take the laminating film, just toss it to the back to get it out of our way. We're going to do the same thing with the lower roll now. You'll notice again, dull side, shiny side, and we want the film coming off the roll from the bottom. So we'll take our supply mandrel, insert, and put it on the machine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our film and thread it behind the idler bar. Okay. And that's all set and the top goes underneath as we said earlier. Now the top is going to come out just enough to dangle and match the film on the bottom. We're going to take our roll from the bottom, bring it all the way up to the top. Okay, and now we have two layers of film here at the nip of the rollers. Okay. Now we're going to thread our machine. We take a stiff piece of cardboard, we provide something called a threading board or a threading card, and we're going to put it here in the nip of the rollers. Turn on our drive switch and it will carry the film through. Now note, rule number two of laminating is that what goes into the machine must come out the machine at all times. So I've stopped it here just so that we can see that the laminating film and the card are now being pulled through the machine and I'm just going to reach around the back to make sure that it exits properly. Okay, we're just about out now. Okay, so we're all set now with laminating film that has come out. One more little check I'm going to make is to see that the film on the top matches the film here on the bottom. The rolls need to be even. We don't want excess film on either side of the machine to touch the rollers. We're in pretty good shape, but if they're not, just give them a little nudge one way or the other to even off the rollers. 
Your machine is now properly threaded. We will turn the heaters on to allow them to warm up. Most laminators take approximately five to 10 minutes to warm up depending upon the type of power that you have at your outlet. Okay. You are now ready to begin laminating once the machine is fully warmed up. Thanks very much for taking a look today and we hope that you join us with other videos that we have on laminators. Thank you.